Today we're going to be comparing America's two favorite service pistols, the Glock, the XD. Stick around. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We're trying to change things up a little bit and we want to start a new series where we're going to be doing comparison contrast. Uh, two pistols one on one and see how they stack up. So before we get started, just want to show clear. Drop the mag. Empty pistol. We're good there. Same with the Glock, drop the mag, empty pistol, we're safe. Okay, so without further ado, I want to welcome you all back, and I want to thank all of our subscribers. It's the subscribers that are really making the show go. Um, we appreciate if you'd subscribe, and the other added thing is if you want to get notifications, hit that little bell, and that way you'll be on top of it every time we release a new video. Now. I would say that the Glock and the XD both fall into what I call the service pistol class. And a service pistol is something that's been adopted either by military or police forces. And in the case of these, they're favorites of both. So because of that, with a service pistol, you're getting something that is really held to a higher standard. They've been torture tested um, under real life circumstances, which means for the regular civilian shooter, there's not a whole lot you're gonna do to hurt them. And we're gonna start off by talking about the Glock. Now, the Glock has been around for 20 plus years. It was the first real polymer pistol to really take off. I'm not saying it was the first polymer pistol, but it was the first one that really took off with mass appeal. And because of that, it's become the favorite of police departments across the United States. And one of the reasons for that is because of its simplicity. Now, with a lot of pistols you've seen that I, I have, you're going to notice that there's no frame-mounted safety. So because of that, that's one less control. You also have, you know, very matter-of-fact slide release uh, right up here. These are your, your takedown levers. You actually have to pull these down in order to get it apart. And then you've got a real no-nonsense, just magazine release. So that's pretty much it when we're talking about controls. All that's really left is the trigger. And you can see there's that little spur in the trigger. That's the safety. In order for this gun to run, that safety has to be completely engaged for this to fire. Now. These would also be known as striker fired or double action only. Uh, the reason the police and military like this so much is because the trigger only functions in one particular mode. Um, like a lot of the hammer fired that you've seen me use, traditional double action, they operate in two different modes. The beauty of this is it really streamlines training because you only have one mode of trigger to learn. It's going to pull the same way every time. So because of that, it's easy to train people, especially those that may have, don't have much experience with firearms. It also comes with a really nice accessory rail. So to the accessory rail, you can mount up things like a, a white light, you can mount a laser, um, or combination of either. So that's become pretty much standard equipment with a lot of pistols. Um, it also comes with Glock's versions of their sights. You've got a white dot and then a U-shaped white outline that you balance the front side in. Um, it's not my particular favorite, but a lot of people really like it. Um, for me, I'm so used to having a three dot sight on just about everything I use. That's something I'd probably change out. But hey, that's just me. It's a big world out there and you can do what you want. One of the beauties of the Glock is the fact that it's available in so many different calibers. This one in particular is 40. However, you can get this in 9, you can get it in 45, 10 millimeter, you can get it in 357 SIG. Uh, lots and lots of choices with Glocks depending on uh, what it is you want to do with it. So it's, it's got a lot of choices that you can make. Uh, one of the things that's also available for Glocks is you get a 22 caliber conversion kit, and you already know how I feel about that. Uh, those are a great way to practice at a, a much cheaper rate. You can get good in a hurry shooting 22s. 
So we'll come back to him in a little bit, but we're also going to talk about the uh, Springfield XD. And I'm a real big fan of the XD. I think it's a fantastic pistol. You're going to find that this comes in, oh, probably about $100 cheaper than the Glock. And I think you really get a lot for your money. Um, one of the things that you're going to notice is the angle for the uh, Springfield is going to be much different from that of the Glock. The Glock has a different grip angle, whereas the grip angle for the Springfield is much similar to that of the old 1911. And that particular grip angle has kind of become the model for most semi-autos. The Glock's a departure from that. Uh, a lot of people don't care for the grip angle, so when we're talking about a striker fired, some people really appreciate the uh, the standard grip angle copied from the 1911. Now, the XD has some features the Glock does not, and you'll notice right away that it comes with a grip safety. You can see right here, it's very similar to the 1911, it incorporates a grip safety. So the grip safety has to be completely engaged or regardless of what you do with the trigger, it will not fire. So it makes it a very safe gun. You have to be very deliberate with the grip in order for this to go. You're also going to notice that like the Glock, it has a, uh, a trigger safety built right in because like the Glock, it also does not have a frame mounted safety. So by eliminating one of the controls, you make for a simple, more simple operating pistol. So it also comes, which is a very nice touch, is you have an ambidextrous magazine release. So you can hit this if you're a lefty or if you're a righty. That's kind of a really nice feature. Uh, another really good feature that they come with is on the back, you're going to notice this little um, stake that sticks out, and that would be an indicator that your striker is activated. You can run your thumb over that in the middle of the night and without even looking at the gun and tell that, okay, the striker is set. Now, if it's fired, what happens is, is you're going to see that striker disappear. So you can tell just by feel, in a hurry, whether or not the gun is ready to go. It also comes with, on the top, and it's hard to see here, but there's also a chamber round indicator, this little thing right here. And that would pop up if you actually had a round in the chamber. So in the middle of the night, you'd be able to feel across the back, see that your striker's activated, feel across the top, see that you've got a round in the chamber, and even if you've got, you know, low light conditions, know exactly what the state of readiness that your firearm is in. Now, the XD also comes with a very similar accessory rail. You could put, you know, a, uh, a light, a laser, a combination of both, and it also comes with, you know, my particular favorite sighting system, the three-dot sight. I find the three dot sight is very fast, it's very intuitive. You line up your three dots, use the white dot to cover your target, and what you see is what you get. Now, very similar to that of the Glock, this also comes in a multitude of calibers. This one in particular is nine millimeter, but you can also get it in, in various calibers, 40, 45. Um, those are, you know, the major calibers that it comes in. Uh, one of the things that's really, really nice that I really appreciate about the XD is that you can't really see it here, but it has a dual spring system inside. So what that does is you have a recoil and a rebound spring, which really help limit the recoil, which makes this a very soft shooting gun. Uh, one of the reasons they developed that is you can see that the barrel is located much higher off the bore of axis. So the higher that you have the barrel on the bore of axis, the more felt recoil and more muzzle flip you're going to experience. So by having a dual spring system, you're going to help reduce that quite a bit, which makes it a very, very shootable gun. Um, for me, I've spent more time with an XD. I feel more comfortable with it than a Glock. 
Um, in my opinion, I appreciate the grip angle a little bit more, and I appreciate having uh, the grip safety in lieu of not having a frame mounted safety. So I prefer the XD. However, you're going to find a lot of people that disagree with me, and I'm okay with that. You know, the beauty of the system that we live in is that we have choices. So if you like the Glock, you can keep your Glock. If you like the XD, that's a great option too. So there's really no wrong answer here. It becomes a matter of what you like best. Now, they're both polymer frame, which is going to make them light, easy to take care of. Um, this particular material, it's, it's not going to be bothered by the elements. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about a lot of uh, uh, extra weight to carry around like you'd have with a, an all-metal. So if you're going to be carrying a pistol all day, having something lightweight is also going to be a plus. With the Glocks and the XDs, you can also get them in compact models with slightly shorter barrels and frames. You can also get them in longer barrels that are a, a, a favorite of competitors. But there's, there's basically models within each particular product line to fit what you want to do with it. So they make a great chassis. And I say chassis because there's a lot that you can do to modify and build these to customize them or individualize them to meet your own needs. And that's a cool thing. So anyway, once again, we're comparing the XD to the Glock. Either one you get, you're not gonna be disappointed. It all goes down to personal feel and personal choice. Now, we'd like to thank all of our subscribers again, and we appreciate the comments and the questions that you're leaving us. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. If you want notifications, hit that little bell. Once again, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. And on behalf of Shooters of the Series, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll talk to you all next time.